Yeah, we had some uh, sunshine at the beach today in Delray Beach, but as we get through time here, clouded up, and yes, you finally saw some rain, and you see the lightning strikes there, and some of that uh, rain on the lens as we went through the evening hours. Stalled frontal boundary going to hang around for a couple days here and keep us in the high rain chance mix here. We're starting to taper off the rain a little bit now. Uh, and you see in Palm Beach County here from West Palm through Boynton, Boca, tapering off a bit. You still had a few lightning strikes in Boca, uh, but a lot of that is just moving offshore at the moment. Farther up through Jupiter, it's just steady, light to moderate rain right now. I don't see any lightning strikes at the moment, but uh, farther up, we're looking at a few little showers starting to form there, maybe just north of Port St. Lucie, and I can't uh, exclude some of this area here on the Treasure Coast firing up into the overnight hours. So we've kept those rain chances in the forecast. Wouldn't be surprised for a couple rumbles of thunder even, mid-70s for lows. Tomorrow, highs in the mid to upper 80s, scattered showers and thunderstorms once again, maybe even numerous as we go through the day. Uh, here's the overnight, and you see still a little bit of action there. Now the morning commute could have a few heavy downpours out there from time to time. And again, the main threat tomorrow too, flooding. A lot of these uh, showers and thunderstorms will contain some really, really heavy rainfall in a short period of time here that could flood things very, very quickly. Afternoon, a few scattered showers around, and then uh, even increases going into mid-afternoon and even in the evening hours, some pockets of heavy rainfall here. This is 10 o'clock, and you still see some rain right along the coast there on the Treasure Coast uh, before trying to clear out once again and then do it all over again on Thursday because Thursday expect some high rain chances too. So excessive rainfall here, threat here for South Florida. This is tonight, tomorrow, level one for uh, excessive rainfall there and on Thursday pretty much right along the coast. That could lead to some flooding. So those high rain chances are here. Then we get some drier air to move in for Friday and the weekend. Hurricane Nigel, 100 mile per hour wind starting to erode the northern edge of the eye there and you see how it opens up. It's still a pretty potent hurricane, but it's going to stay a fish storm and go up into the hurricane graveyard there in the North Atlantic. Watching this area here, this will be a non-tropical low, but it could start to acquire some tropical characteristics as it moves up into the Carolinas. What it'll do for us is pull down some drier air for us for the end of the week and possibly even a little bit less humid air. This next one here, just moving off the coast of Africa, give it a few days. It'll be in this red area here for the next week, and that's when it has the chance to develop. Beach and boating, not too bad. It was a little choppy out there today, but it'll get rough again for Friday through the weekend as that load develops off the coast. Highs in the mid to upper 80s, maybe a little less humid to start fall, but it's brief because we get hot again early next week.